Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 through 13, where it is written, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a shout, Look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. And then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the other bridesmaids came along, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you, know, for you know neither the day nor the hour. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. All right. He's not talking about oil to light a lamp or a torch. He's talking about something else. And it's telling that in this chapter, Matthew 25, we have the parable here. After this is the parable of the talents. And after this is the sheep and the goat's judgment, where he says to the right, you did the right thing, and to the left, you did not do the right thing. Guess who's going up, who's going down. And people think, oh, the Bible's easy, it's the clear meaning of Scripture, go with that. Well, here's where Protestants need to be careful. A Catholic or an Orthodox can say, well, look at the clear meaning of the Bible. It sounds like uh, how we live our life matters in God's eyes. And so this debate's been going on for a very long time. And I can tell you, uh, God is not a bean counter writing down everything we do, and hopefully it's enough. Nor is it just a matter of, I think the right thing, I see the right magical formula of theology, and I'm covered, no worries. Both of those things are equally incorrect. Now we are saved by faith. But faith is transformative. It changes who you are from here on out. And that's what gets us to the, uh, the oil. That's faith. That's God given by the Holy Spirit, genuine repentance of the things you've done wrong in life. That's genuinely trying to live a God pleasing life, forgiving others and loving others to the best of your ability. That is the oil. And I can't give that. It's not like it's, okay, I have a spare hundred bucks, uh, here you go. Or I have a spare car, here's, the, here's keys. Or, it can't be gifted like it's money or property. It's ineffable. You can't give that repentant heart. You can't give the joy of the Lord to someone else. You can tell someone about it and certainly hope they repent and come to faith. But it can't be shared. If it could, the five uh, foolish uh, bridesmaids would be in luck. But it can't be shared. And they missed the boat. And again, I can't say this, God, I can't say this enough. God is not a bean counter, and you better do enough or else, oh, you won't meet the quota. No, we're saved by faith. And faith is living. It's transformative. It's faith that works through love. It's not, as Dietrich Bonhoeffer called it, cheap grace. A thinking of the right thing, a mouthing the right incantation, and that's it. Faith is a lifetime thing. And that faith the faith that works through love is the faith that saves. And it sadly cannot be given as if it's money or property. It can be talked about. It can be shared. You can tell someone about it, but you can't give it. And that's that. So yes, how we live our lives is important. Not that we're earning anything, but the faith that God gives, the saving faith is transformative, and there's no getting around that. But I know for you, you think I'm being too harsh. He gives it freely as a gift. It's open for everyone. So for heaven's sake, don't reject it. Live it. Let us close with prayer. Lord, make us on fire with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with the Holy Spirit that may repent, turn to you in love, and be your children. Amen.